Hey guys, what's going on soon here? A little update video for uh, my last video, the uh, CI Dagger Shadow. Um, it's going well, level 69 now, doing docks still. Um, I wanna go to Lunaris Temple. I could go now, being kind of a little bitch. Um, I just got an armor piece that's level 71. Um, so I'm gonna be going CI right when I can wear that. Uh, so I'm gonna wait for Lunar yeah, Lunaris um, to go CDI, uh, CI. So I'm just been kind of like grinding the docks, watching a movie or something like that, uh, playing it real safe. Um, Cause once I get that armor, uh, I'll go CI and then I gotta learn to use Blood Rage cause I've never um, really used that, which isn't too hard. You just activate it and then kill shit and you get frenzy charges and whatnot in lifesteal. But um, anyway, so we'll go over the, the whole build this time real quick at the beginning and then I'll do a little bit in the docks and, uh, and then we'll call it. Um, if you haven't watched the other video, I'm using Flicker Strike kind of as my main, like, clear and stuff like that. Um, Galena, get... Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm using Flicker Strike with Multi-Strike. Uh, I don't really know what else is on it. Uh, melee Damage, Full Life. I had Splash on it, which wasn't too bad, but now I'm just trying Melee Damage on Full Life. You can see it's only level 7. Uh, just trying it out, seeing the damage and whatnot. And then uh, Critical Damage, because it crits really high. My other skill is going to be Frenzy for now. Uh, just getting a couple of Frenzy stacks to use Flicker Strike. Um, if you don't know, Flicker Strike has a small cooldown. But if you have Frenzy Charges, you can consume a Frenzy Charge and then keep Flicker Striking with Multi-Strike. So it really kind of lets you go crazy. And then Lightning Strike, which is going to be my main 5-link attack um, with Elemental proliferation to shock everything. Because that's basically what I'm going to be doing in the shock groups. Or in the group maps, uh, I'm just shocking everything. Um, because my crit's so high. And this uh, is only level... Three. I just bought it 13%. I'm probably going to GCP it up to 15 or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so that one I just bought. The damage will get a little higher. And Spectral Throw is just another skill that I'm using to clear, um, especially since Lightning Strike I just bought. Um, then we'll go over the gear real quick. This is the dagger. It's hooked up with uh, Reduced Mana, Hatred, and Discipline. I can finally wear two of those. Dream Fragments this is kind of expensive. It's not really needed. Uh, I really like the Mana Regen and whatnot. Can't be Frozen is pretty good too. Uh, the other unique I have, Rainbow Strides, um, kind of expensive again, a little a little around the Exalted. You can get a better roll, but uh, it's got really nice mana. It's ES, um, and typically when you're doing a build like this, a hybrid build, you want one hybrid item, one static item, which would be ES, and then my Helm, which I'll probably go straight Evasion, um, and then I'll maybe ultimately change my shield to an uh, Energy Shield because my chest is hybrid as well, uh, which is the one I'm going to be wearing at 71, so i got to play around with the gear a little bit. Um, that's about it. This is the gear. You can pause if you want to look at stuff. But it's just kind of stuff that you use to get by. Um, as you're leveling up, uh, hardcore, hardcore nemesis. It's a little harder. you got to be pretty safe. Um, a lot of times when you transition into CI, you're dropping all your health gear. And you're picking up ES gear. You know, if you don't have any sets. So you're like, you're searching for a piece of gear. Okay, I need these gloves to have uh, cold resist like these. I bought these basically because I wanted cold resist. The mana was a plus. The attack speed, okay. I really don't need it too much. Um, but it was a hybrid piece, okay, evasion, uh, energy shield, and it had cold resist. So, like, as you're looking for items like that, you generally don't want to go for health items because you're going to be CI, and they're cheaper, because CI gear is usually cheaper. But then again, as you're transitioning, you know, you're going to have less life. So you got to kind of, it's like a transition phase. It's a little hard to do, but you can do it. So if you're softcore, it's not really a big deal. Um, and then that's the gear, a little life steal on the ring, which... I don't think I'm going to be replacing that. I'm going to be replacing the amulet, though, which has life leech. So I don't know what I'm going to do for life leech. Maybe some new gloves and get some life leech on it. Uh, belt, a little bit of armor, um, fire res, energy shield, elemental damage for LS, and then uh, physical damage for everything else. And that's about it. Uh, my flasks, since I went in Valpak, I'll show you the build real quick. You can pause and look at it. It's similar to... Um, Oh, fuck, I forgot the one guy's name did crit shadow build a long time ago. Ivan Ulko, something like that. He's an awesome guy, made a whole bunch of builds, uh, Righteous Fire, back when I was like, I was playing close to one to two years ago. Um, he had a Righteous Fire build that was really interesting. I haven't really been following a few updates anymore since I just started playing this game again. But it's similar to that. Um, I'll probably be changing a little things. I gotta, you know, see how tanky I be, uh, how tanky I'll be if I need more damage, if I need more um, ES nodes and whatnot. Um, but other than that, it's really cookie cutter. Just all the crit you can at the beginning out of shadow. I'll drop all these health nodes. I'm, I'm slowly dropping them right now. I expect out of this one up here. Um, I expect out of these over here as I'm going into ES. And then I uh, came down here, got iron reflexes. I pretty much rushed this, you know, for growing pains and whatnot, leveling it up. I got all these nodes up here. Got the health nodes. Uh, this is a really nice mana node you can get for early game. I'll probably link it up here 
link these. You can like follow this up and connect this right here because that mana is really nice. Uh, plus, it has crit chance. Um, anyway, so I didn't do this circle. This one right here on the right. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Void battery. You definitely want that. But I went up and around, all the way down, rushed iron reflexes, got it about, I think, like level 50 or something like that, maybe 45, um, with levels and skill points and whatnot. Um, iron reflex is just really awesome. If you're running grace or somebody in your party's running grace, it's amazing. Uh, it helps you with gear. Uh, and then jade flasks. Oh, my God, jade flasks are amazing. Um, and then Val pack, I picked that up. That kind of takes some getting used to. Uh, you can't use health pots. So I did that in Merciless Act 3. Um, is when I finally got that. And then the other one's Ghost Reaver. You leech um, energy steel instead of life, and then CI will be the last one that I'll go to. Your health becomes one, you're immune to chaos damage, and then everything else is ES. Uh, I think the last video I talked about puncture and stuff like that. If you're really interested in this build, you can do a little research. I don't, I'm not going to be covering everything, but it's just something that you could do. It's really fun. I'll show you some gameplay about it. Uh, oh, I have a Ducks one going. Uh, so you can see on the top, running Hatred and Discipline. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. I'll try to uh, do my best to show you. Okay, so now I had some really nice rolls on the Jade Flasks. As you know, I went Iron Reflexes, which basically makes my Evasion armor. Um, so getting Evasion stuff is obviously better. You know, see Evasion on here, Evasion on here. This is still armor. Evasion on here. So ultimately, go for uh, Evasion stuff or e energy, energy Shield. So when you have Jade Flasks, instead of getting Granite, which is 3,000 armor you get jade 3000 evasion so essentially you're still getting armor then you can see on the bottom 80 percent increased evasion three versus three recharge when i crit since i'm critting a lot uh this just recharges so it's really nice so watch my armor right here 3300 only 36 percent physical damage reduction which is fairly low so i'm gonna hit one goes up to 12.5 and i'm 67 right now it lasts i don't know four or five seconds so usually anytime i run up on a pack i'll use a pot uh same thing for this one i got a really nice roll again like both of these took me under under 10 alts. It was just a godsend for, for rolling these. Um, same thing, a little bit more armor. Um, and then this last one, I have removed bleeding, and then again, recharging when I critical strike. This one, my mana pot also has removed bleeding um, and extra recharge. And then you want a, a movement speed flask. You can, you, can, you can get rid of this one later on, but I like it for movement speed right now. So again, like I said, for the build, flicker strike, you got to kind of pick and choose when you use it. See if lightning strike does any damage. Yeah, it's only level three, but it's still still doing pretty good damage. So you can kind of hang out in the back. Is that GMP? No, that's LMP. So I have LMP on it. Um, health's kind of getting dropped. It's a lot of mobs. I'm going to just keep the jade flask. You can see them on the bottom as I'm using them. And then once there's like a few mobs left, I'll just go ahead and flicker strike. That's what I'm bouncing around. That's because of multi strike. Um, it's really good single target damage too. If there's only one mob and you know you're not going to jump around, I can even jump around on these mobs if I wanted to. They don't have uh, thorns or anything like that. And then I'll go ahead and get some more frenzy charges. But once I have blood, uh, blood rage, it won't be a problem. I'll have, I'll have a few more charges. So we'll go ahead and show you that single target damage with a couple charges. It's still pretty good. A couple things that you need to be worried about. Uh, as I said in the first video, I just kind of repeat myself again because it's a big issue. Uh, Desyncing, you know, you can fly around the map and desync a little bit. You can end up somewhere where you don't want to be. Like if I end up inside three or four of these fire breathing dogs, I could potentially die pretty quick. I'll try to say, uh, I might not be able to show you a single target. Yeah, I'm going to jump around a little bit. Just kite these back a little bit. It's pretty easy to throw a little bit. Um, yeah, so just, you know, pick and choose when you do it. Since these two mobs are, like, alone over here, you can easily just tap them up with a flicker. Um, the other thing would be puncture. Okay, so here's elemental thorns. That's not a big deal. Oh, that's a fracture. Almost died there, but that's not a big deal really for you. Um, but you can get punctured. The cool thing about Flicker Strike is it doesn't hurt you if you're punctured. Puncture is like if you move, you know, you take more damage. Uh, typically, you want to just pop a Granite or a Jade, depending on what you're using, uh, and just sit there and tank it. But you can Flicker Strike while you're punctured. It doesn't hurt you. Um, and Flicker Strike will, you know, evade some some attacks and whatnot while you're jumping around. Oh, there's a shit ton of mobs. Should be safe. You can just clear mobs. This is just the docks. It's pretty easy. Uh, with melee splash, I can clear a little bit better, better AOE. I probably would have jumped in that pack up there if I still had melee splash on it. But uh, trying it out as a five link, just seeing what I can get done. And anytime you like come out of flicker striking, you want to just keep attacking so you can keep life stealing. You don't want to just stand there and say, "Oh shit, I'll pick that ruby flask up." 
Uh, let's see, what else can be an issue with Flicker Strike? Uh, I mentioned Puncture, I mentioned being in a shitty area after. Uh, thorns! Oh yeah, I didn't mention Thorns. Physical Thorns could possibly kill you or one-shot yourself. Um, as I showed, I have increased Critical Strikes, or Critical Strike Multiplier. So, you know, if I jump on a Thorns pack and, uh, and crit all of them a couple times, I'll be pretty damn low. I don't know if I'd kill myself because I nerfed it since the last time I played, but uh, it's definitely not something to play around with. If you see any Thorns, just don't Flicker Strike. Just run up and, uh, and Lightning Strike. You should have enough uh, lifesteal to, uh, to withstand it. A lot of, there's a lot of uh, downsides in the build. If you don't have Rainbow Striders and Dream Fragments like I did, um, again, they're not needed for the build, but they help a little bit. Dream Fragments are really nice for, uh, for mana regen and stuff like that. But you can just stack a little bit of mana on your gear and you'll be fine. Um, but a couple things, a couple walls that you'll hit, um, you know, depending on hardcore and softcore, but I use the Might Flay, a unique dagger at level 35 or 36, and... After that became obsolete, around level 45, 50, even with damage nodes on daggers, uh, you start to see the damage fall off. But uh, if you 4-link it with added fire damage, um, spectral throw, because you use spectral throw to level, it's just amazing. It really is. LMP, spectral throw, added fire damage, and faster attacks if you, if you can get a 4-link in the colors. And you can pretty much just clear anything. But uh, Might Flay is a good item to pick up a couple chaos, and it'll, it'll carry you all the way up to 45, 50. But after that, you're gonna have to look for a dagger. So use POE Explorer, or PO Explorer, or uh, POE XYZ. Just find uh, some level 45, 50 dagger. That's an upgrade from Might Flay. Don't spend too much because you're not gonna be using until end game. But uh, yeah, you know, just check out your, your gear. Other than that, it's a really fun build. Uh, hopping around on stuff like that. Once I go CI and have Blood Rage, I'll be hopping around a little bit more. Hey, a Sapphire Flask. And that's it. So my next video is gonna be probably either PyD or Maps. Um, I see that today or tomorrow I'll be all CI'd up and, uh, and ready to go in all that stuff. So that should be fun. And I'll really get to the shitty part of being CI dagger in, in nemesis mode. Okay, here's the thorns right here. That's what I'm talking about. You can still kind of... You can still damage it. You don't really have to, like, stop damaging. But if, if I were to uh, have melee splash and crit all that shit, you might be in trouble. So just be careful when you're flicker striking if you're on hardcore. If you're on softcore, just flicker strike everything. It'll be pretty fun. Uh, later on in the maps too. I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with lightning thorns. I'm thinking maybe the life steal will be okay, and if I just attack a few times, like, like hit, 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 might be okay. And that's it. That's the end of the video. So, looking forward to doing an update video. Hopefully, I don't die, and uh, I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care.